Welcome back to Automotive Insight. Today we're working on a 2005 Honda Civic. We're going to demonstrate this toolkit. This is a front hub service kit. You can pick it up at any local parts stores. We referenced this to our Ford Focus video. Uh, we didn't use it, but this is more DIY friendly. If you don't have a hydraulic press, we'll demonstrate with the spindle on the car. Let's get into it. So this is the main part of the kit. Um, it, this kit is very heavy. It comes with all the adapters. You have your plates for the backside for pushing and pulling. I do recommend getting a good set. Um, think about like the loaner tool, you're done with it. You can return it. Or if you, if you keep it, they even actually have a warranty. Um, but as you can see, this upper bar is even slightly bent and I've used this kit a couple times so there's a good bit of pressure even with this kit so that's why I recommend a good one and definitely not Harbor Freight. So I have the spindle mostly loose obviously the the, the CV axle has to be out of the way I left the lower ball joint in and in, installed that gives us um, pivot and plenty of room uh, this is the basic setup that you have to have to use this kit. The horseshoe adapter bolts to the, the main tool uh, and you have to find the right one. It comes with different sizes. And on this one, it's got screws holding the backing plate on and, I, and that's what I'm gonna, that's what I fit it to use as my pressure point. And then you got the, the, big, the big screw rod. And then it has the jam nut in the tool. This goes on the back side, and we're going to push the hub out, out first of the bearing. One thing to do that can help is to is grease up the bolt. That can really help because um, there's going to be a lot of pressure on it from friction. But uh, the main bolt's 24, and I use an adjustable for the backside. Um, you can do this with half-inch breaker bars um, or impacts. It makes makes life a little bit easier. Go ahead and get your snap ring out of the way. Okay, so with our snap ring out of the way, we're going to add one more adapter. Now you gotta remember this has to clear the hub and also press on the bearing to pull the whole bearing out. And we got our new wheel bearing and we're gonna use our old wheel bearing to help press it in because the new one, the inner race has a raised edge and I don't like to push on the inner race as installing because you can just you can push the races and mess up the bearing. So, so we're going to use the old one to help push on the outside. We got our, our plate adapter and we're just using the rod. And then we'll, we have another flat adapter on the back. And then you just use these two and just squeeze them together. All right, with your bearing in place, ran it till it, you can tell it, it bottomed out and just got real tight. Uh, then you can also check your clearance for your snap ring to make sure you're in far enough. All right, so ready to install the hub. Now we cut the inner race off um, as demonstrated in our, you can use the Tacoma video. Uh, it's the exact same way. Uh, you know, cut a slash in it and then you knock it off with an air hammer. If you don't, you can eat, buy a new spindle and make things a little bit quicker. But for this job, we cut it off and we're going to reuse it. And then to install it, you're actually going to be pressing against the inner race on the inside and, and on the outside. And you want to squeeze it all together. You want to make sure that you are pushing on the races this time.
make sure the adapter is a flat surface on the inside. I had it flipped around and it basically wouldn't let me go any further. So that'll wrap up this demonstration. Uh, it's got multiple adapters. Um, I've found this kit very useful uh, without having a hydraulic press. Uh, even if you buy the, the spindle separate, this makes this job a whole lot easier. Um, I've even taken these out and I've done this on the bench, but it's I've tried this in the car and it works well also. But if you like what you saw today, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's start over. No.